Hi, next tutorial we'll focus on clips, 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 clips. So I have this quad. Let me just um, add the opacity here. So I have some keyframes uh, value. What is cool with this new version of Mad Mapper, I can just expand the view. Montage, I don't need, and we'll focus on the opacity. So right now, let me just create mm, some values, some keyframes. I will revert the um, quantization to frames, select everything, switch to C for a nice curve. Let me zoom in a little bit. And now with all these keyframes selected and this um, time range right, right here, if I right click in the middle, I can create a clip. And this clip, it has a header, it has a name, uh, animation, I can remain, rename by double clicking, animation loop number one. Okay, I can change the color here in my inspector for something nice. Okay, it's there. And since I am in the conductor, you can see here on the overview, uh, where is my clip? My clip, I can move it. So I, it's very handy because I can move all these uh, keyframes at once, all this animation. Uh, if I zoom in, I can add some more keyframe there. Boom, like, like this, for instance. Okay. And it's very handy because I can move everything at once. If I Option or Alt click and move, I will duplicate it. So that's super handy. I can duplicate it, put it somewhere, somewhere there. And if I change uh, the time range, you can see that it's actually looping. Yeah. So now I have a looping animation. Okay, so that's that's uh, super cool, super handy, because uh, I don't have to copy paste the the, the keyframe. Uh, it's a sequence, and of course, if if I change it here, it will change on all the loops um, of my animation. Note that if I change it here, it's not changing this one because it's actually two different copies. Uh, what is cool, though, is I can right-click, I can copy the clip. If I go there, right-click again, I can paste it as a ghost. And a ghost clip, you can see here, it has some uh, hatches on, on, the, on the naming. And what are cool with ghost is that, let me put another one here. What's cool with ghost is that... They are actually references uh, or that they are the same, they are ghost copies. So whatever I do with this one, it will it will happen on the other one. If I use that alt uh, copy, I, I make a new one and this new one is not ghosted. So whatever I do here is not happening there. So that's a super, super powerful and super handy feature. If I make another quad here and uh, let's say I also want to add the opacity um, to, to the timeline, what I can do is I can, uh, you can see, I, ca I cannot directly move uh, one clip from, from one track to the other. But what I can do is I, I can copy it. And if I'm there, I could paste it here. Okay, so these ones um, are not related somehow, but I can also paste it here as a ghost. And that's a super nice feature because now I have two different surfaces. Okay, but um, on each surface I have a clip and these clips are connected uh, somehow because they are ghost and I can ghost a clip from one track to the other. So that's a super handy, super powerful, super efficient. Uh, what I can do also on my ghost is if I right click on it, I can reverse the clip and you can see I have time reversed all the keyframe within the clips. So that's super cool. Uh, clips, what I can do um, there, I can right click, I can flatten the clip. So no, it's not a clip anymore. Okay. And uh, if I go over, you can see I will just override uh, the animation. Poof. Okay. 
And uh, what I could do is, for instance, I can take a sub part of this. I click again, create the clip. Okay, and so now I have another clip. I can move it there. Okay, and uh, this clip I could, for instance, uh, right here in the middle, if I select it and I have uh, my um, time time playhead here, what I could do is I could split the clip into that's um, super handy and a super powerful feature. So now I have split the clip in two parts. Uh, this one is looping. This one is looping as well, uh, and you can see very quickly. I can I can make some very cool uh, animations uh, there uh, because that's very um, a super powerful feature of MadMap. And of course, each clip I can have another color. And now in the overview, you can see that's uh, showing up correctly with the right color. So I have a, um, a better view of what's going on uh, within my my timeline, and that's. Uh, that's uh, super handy, actually. Uh, and there is a nice shortcut for the clip uh, that works everywhere. It's uh, option E for splitting. So I have to select the clip and uh, put my, uh, my, uh, my, my time here. And option E, up, clip. And I have, a, I have clicked it and it automatically uh, creates a clip. And I think that's it uh, for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.